Satu, dua, tiga, action. Yeah, what is up guys? Fahan here with Zah once again and today we're with Fizo. How are you Fizo? I'm good, thank our, you. He's actually our long time fan. Uh. He has been watching our videos since <laughs> uh, we went the uh, Thailand trip. Uh. Fizo also happened to be uh, an NS friend back in 2001. Which, you know, I didn't recognize him, you know, until we were talk, 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 talk. Hey, you also uh, from the same unit. Uh. Alamak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is uh, Fizo's bike, yeah, uh, Honda Forza 300. And Fizo, I have to say, uh, this bike, yeah, whew, actually one of my dream bikes. I got a lot of dream bikes, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I, mean, <dreams> <laughs> I like the Forza because of the design. This design is very nice, it's very angular. It's like the XADV, yeah, but a uh, very scooter version. Yeah. What do you think, Azar? I have to say this this is this bike has a very modern look, you know, very futuristic look. Mm. Even the head you see, it's like Decepticon. <laughs> Decepticon. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You see I like like you. Decept Decepticon logo tau. <laughs> but this is a very beautiful bike. Seriously, compared to this to the the other popular scooter on the road, eh? This one has a exclusivity yes. to that to that feel. Yeah, but nowadays you see a lot of it on the road. Like. It's slowly gaining popularity, yeah. Uh. And Good. I think in a few years, uh, it'll be as popular as X Men. Mm. Yeah. So before Biso actually tells the story about his Honda Forza, we're gonna give a bit of background about it, eh? Uh. Marketed as a premium maxi scooter for urban riding, the Honda Forza 300 was first launched in Europe in 2013. The name Forza means strength and forcefulness in Italian owing to its European heritage. The Forza is built to compete with the Yamaha X-Max. Engine is a 279cc single-cylinder liquid-cooled 4-valve SOHC with fuel injection and a CVT V-belt automatic transmission. Similar in design, the 125 and 250cc is available for the European market. For the Singapore market, only a 300cc variation is available. The Forza 300 is slowly gaining popularity amongst riders in Singapore. Okay, so Fizo, I want to ask you, you actually have two bikes. Yes. It's okay to tell us the story on Forza. <laughs> okay, I first got the X-Max. Uh. Actually, before buying the X-Max, I was like uh, considering mm -hmm. either to get X-Max or Forza. Mm. So, I got the X-Max. So far, it's a good bike. And I happen to be a two-bike person. Mm. Then, uh, my big bike, 600cc bike, uh, COE is handling. So I decided to, you know, give it a shot, trade in, get the Honda Forza. My plan is to ride for at least both bike, both scooter for one year, mm -hmm. and see which one I will stick with. Mm, mm. I see. Before you own the X Max and the Forza, what other bikes have you rode? Uh, for scooters, SYM GTS 200, uh -huh. SYM Joy Max 300i, Honda Super 4, definitely. Everyone rode it before. <laughs> yeah. Suzuki GSR 600, mm -hmm. Yamaha XJ6 Diversion. Oh, uh, RSX? Uh. Back in the 2 days. Ah, and I, I ever sub ride my dad Vespa too, actually. Mm, the old school Vespa. So that time when you bought the Forza, right? How much was it that time? And how uh, long ago? I got it on the promotion price. The it's a Bunsu offer deal, uh -huh. which, uh, which uh, I think a few dealers running it. So I got the machine price at about 8k. 8k? Yeah, when supposedly the machine is supposed to be about 11 or 12, if I'm not wrong. Wow! Yeah. Okay. Good deal, huh? Good deal. So I go for it even though the, uh, the COE is already high. When I got it, the COE was 7,004. Mm. Ah, but yeah, I think due to the low machine price, I think it's still acceptable. Uh. This is cheaper than a class 2B, new one, you know. New class 2B. <laughs> okay, when I got this at uh, on the road, total uh -huh. machine plus okay. COE, uh -huh. everything with all the registration, it's about 16k on the road. Mm -hmm. The ADV 150, I asked the shop, it's 14k something, 14k plus <laughs> on the road. <laughs> So like it's no brainer lah. <laughs> yeah, true uh, For you add a, a couple of thousand more, you get ta -da, a bigger bike. A class two A. Yeah. Mm. The only thing to be concerned about comparing to ADV one five zero, of course, the maintenance. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. See the price, it's not far apart. About two K difference. Mm -hmm. But the maintenance ah. 
Because mm. it's a class 2A bike, uh, so yeah. I think maintenance is slightly higher. Engine oil, not that much compared to 2B bike, 2B scooter. 2B scooter mm -hmm. is usually using one bottle of engine oil. Mm -hmm. This is using 1.4 liter. One and a half bottle. Uh. But the oil filter is expensive. Uh, during my first servicing, I went to Bunsiu. The uh -huh. oil filter itself is close to $30. Oh. <laughs> when I see the receipt. 20 to 30 dollars. Uh -huh. The oil fitter. They're using the big bike oil fitter. Oh, I see. Yeah. No wonder. Maybe you can get cheaper if you're using a third party oil fitter. But for oil fitter, I don't like to use third party. Play, huh? yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's still under warranty, right? Yes. Uh, so, my as well, you go back to agents. At least, if anything happens, still agent, you know, yeah. it's under warranty. Yeah. yeah. What, and then, speaking of maintenance, right? what about belting? Is it in the high side also? Uh, I think it's quite reasonable lah. Compared to the SYM Joymax 300i I ever rode before, the belting is already cost me total 300 plus dollars. Mm. This one I check, I haven't need to change it. Uh -huh. I check it's about uh, 180. Oh, okay. like said, belting and roller, everything. Oh, okay. yeah. So it's not as cheap as X Max servicing, but it's still not so bad. Mm. Yeah. So because Fizo also ride uh, X-Max, uh, we're going to compare both bikes. Uh. Considering that this is your second bike, your first bike that you got is X-Max, which is currently you own, and the Forza, how do you compare its performance? Engine characteristic, definitely there's a difference. Uh -huh. Honda, Forza are definitely smoother. Uh -huh. uh, the engine is damn smooth. Uh. I think Honda riders, you guys know. Uh. It's not that X-Max is not smooth by any means. Uh. Yeah. It's just that this is smoother, mm. definitely. Speed wise, a lot of people say that X-Max is faster, faster, but I feel it's about the same, not much different, I mean acceleration wise, mm -hmm. but my gut feeling saying like if, even if X-Max is faster, just by a little bit, little bit, because on paper this is heavier than X-Max, mm -hmm. by I think 2 to 5 kg, it's heavier. The X-Max is lighter, mm -hmm. with longer wheelbase. That is the performance uh, power. But what about its uh, maneuverability? Handling. Mm, Handling. Yeah, yeah. How can I forget about that? I think I don't know why. Maybe the how the frame set up, the suspension position is slightly tilted, mm -hmm. and the handlebar. I think the front fork is slightly lower than S Max. It's not like S Max very long. Uh -huh. So definitely can feel like handling this is better. But I think if I were to go touring long distance straight highway. I think I might pick X-Max for that mm -hmm. because due to the longer wheelbase, right? I think for straight distance, it's more stable. I think. Seating position-wise, if you were to go for long distance touring, right? Compare the X-Max and this. Which which one will be more comfortable uh, to go long distance? Actually, both is comfortable. Just that the riding position geometry is slightly different. Uh, Forza have a lower handlebar than X Max, but on Forza you might be able to stretch your leg a little bit further than X Max. Mm. X Max we can't really stretch our leg because uh. I don't know somehow the stretching position is a little bit awkward. Just like just like the silver wing lah. Silver uh. wing you know have a you you can stretch out. Yes, really yes. relax. Correct, correct. Uh, uh, this one you can stretch your leg further. For me, I've ridden both bikes, uh, the X-Max and the Forza. The Forza I rode it during the warehouse sale. Uh. So I believe the Forza is, for me, it's a bit more comfortable uh, because it's not so wide. The X-Max uh, is wide, uh, mm. I feel. And then uh, for myself, I'm 165. Uh, I think towing. Uh. I don't know about you. Uh. Like I told Van earlier, uh, for me, I my height is 181. Mm. I still keep towing on the X-Max due to the <laughs> so why? <wide. laughs> but this one not so bad, huh? This one not so bad. Okay. Mm. But mine is already a little bit taller due to I customize the seat. Uh. Mm. You no know, add some cushioning, you no know, for extra comfort. Uh, yes. Yeah. Ah, so I supposedly I think slightly lower maybe. So um, where do you do your seat? I uh, do this at uh, Just Wheel at Bukit Merah. And speaking of modification, right? What else you modify? I mean I can see you modify your rear suspension, your front suspension also. Mm. Okay. Uh, for me, I don't really intend to like mods like crazy lah. Huh. I only want to do the modification that I feel is necessary, such as mm -hmm. the suspension. I don't know why the stock suspension mm -hmm. is so harsh, mm -hmm. so bumpy in the road. I think it didn't absorb much of the road bump. So I think it's a it's a good investment that I changed to 
this YRS suspension. Uh. Mm -hmm. And for the front also actually, I did change to YRS because for my weight, I find the front fork suspension is a little bit too soft. It's easy for you to bottoming, you know? we call it bottoming, uh. if you hit a hole or what, right? Mm. Yeah. Maybe if you are like 60 kg, I think it's fine. Uh. But if you are like 80 kg above, it's advisable mm -hmm. to uh. change so, your front fork. So Talking about suspension uh, configuration, compare this to your X Max. X Max okay. also need to change suspension, change. bro. Yeah. I think I I believe eighty percent of X Max riders all change their rear suspension, especially. <laughs> especially. The problem with X Max rear suspension in the first two weeks feel a little bit harsh. Then suddenly, like after the third fourth week, it's too soft, become too bouncy. You know? <laughs> it's quite dangerous when you like high speed cornering or what. Mm. You, know, you can feel. The back really like, ah. not, it's not stable. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay, then in terms of, um, like just now you spoke about modification. Mm. What about accessories for the Forza, aftermarket and OEM? Is there like a lot? Actually quite a lot. It's quite a lot. So but you can get poison easily. Definitely right? not as much as X-Max. Uh. Uh -huh. X-Max the poison is, I don't know what level. Uh -huh. uh. That one is uh, Forza. I mean like, there is aftermarket parts such as the floorboards, mm. you know. Uh. We can do naked handlebar also if I want to change the windshield to a tinted one. Actually, I'm planning to. Uh, because my, I don't know why it's so foggy. Uh. Yeah, the stock, the standard uh, one. Yeah. I don't know why. Since I purchased it, it's so foggy. But for me, I just want to just change the what I think necessary, uh, essential. Uh. Mm. I think I'm happy with this setup now, actually. Uh, just the windshield. So for yourself, <laughs> you've got the ramp, the, the mount, the uh, phone mount. It's quite important. Uh. Yeah, it must, it's a must have. Uh, so do you, do you use this as a delivery bike or what? Yeah, I use it for both for commute delivery. and also doing part-time delivery ah, sometimes. Okay. Is it feasible or comfortable using this bike as a del uh, delivery? Okay, the best part for city riding, neighborhood riding, uh -huh. doing delivery, uh -huh. this is better than X-Max definitely. Mm. Uh, it's more agile. Uh -huh. Maybe it's not as, because maybe because it's not as tall as X-Max. Let's talk about storage space uh, on the Forza. There's the storage cubby in front. The undersea storage. I think it's quite a lot. Uh. So far, I've I've tried to fit two standard helmet, oh. fit with no problem. And actually, there's after two helmet, there's still space for you to put like raincoat or glove oh, or what. This, this bitch, yeah. Uh, for me, much? I would see it's a comparable storage space as the X Max. Uh. So yeah, like I mentioned to Farhan earlier, yeah. X Max is wide but not that deep. This is deep but a little bit narrow. Yes. I think it's about the same. Uh. About the same. About uh. the same. Not only that, like, you also got the box, the GD box. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like standard. Uh. Avoid also you can get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this box. My wife loves it. <laughs> 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 yeah, the backrest and also she said this quite grippy you know, when she wants to climb the bike. Okay, so considering this is an automatic scooter, how is the fuel consumption like for this bike? Actually, it's quite good. I'm quite impressed with the fuel consumption. Mm -hmm. uh, fuel capacity, uh -huh. this is actually only 11.5 litre, mm -hmm. which is slightly smaller than the X-Max. Okay. X-Max have 13, 13 litre. But, as same as the X-Max, for my size, my weight, I'm able to hit 300 km before reserve. That was like 50% highway, 50% city riding. Mm. Yeah. I think I believe if you 80-90% highway, you can hit even 300 plus. Mm, yeah. yes. Not bad, eh? So per litre, maybe about 30 km per litre? 30 km per litre. Plus oh, minus. Okay. Eh? Not too bad. Uh, average range of yeah. uh, scooter. scooter. 300cc. Can find it 300cc. Because yes. 400 is different. Really. <laughs> <laughs> and then one thing I love for the X-Max is the windshield can move. X-Max? Eh, hey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because we have been talking X Max, X Max, X Max, so the thing is, sorry, if this is sorry, you this this to X Max and Forza and this is, comparison. Ah, this is a Forza, bro. bro. Ah, this Forza, is a Forza. Forza. Okay, so Remember, one thing Forza. about the Forza uh, is the windshield. Uh, it can move uh, up and down. Uh. Okay, before coming here, usually I would do some reading up on uh, the bike itself, you know. Mm -hmm. So I happen to read uh, from Bunsu's website mm -hmm. that this bike has this Honda selectable torque control. Can you yes. briefly explain what that thing is? Honda Selectable Torque Control uh. is basically just a fancy name for traction control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on X Max, I believe you guys call it uh, TCS uh, traction control. Correct, correct. For here, the name is a little bit fancy, but it works the same way. I thought, you know, like uh, <laughs> XC, XCDV, you know, they uh, have like DCD, uh, mode, different mode for uh, different yeah. kind of riding style. 
โอ้เชงกันนะพื่อเหรอเรียกว่าบอก ABS ABS ยะ Standard Standard Front and Back Yeah. yeah, it's quite important now this yeah, true, true. Let's compare the bikes that you have ridden so far. You have rode the SYM uh, Joyride 300, Joy Max. Mm. SYM yes, GTS 200, uh. so SYM Joy Max 300i, mm. uh, X Max Honda Forza. Okay, how in your own words, eh, how would you ex describe the different uh, performance from these bikes, Honda, SYM, Yamaha? Mm. Uh, okay, what I feel through my experience riding those scooters, uh -huh. uh, SYM actually they are good scooters. Mm -hmm. They are good, but what they are lacking is technology. Mm -hmm. I mean, like uh, they don't have a killer ignition. The ABS doesn't come standard with those SYM scooters. No traction control. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so basically, for the Forza and the X Max, you get a lot of uh, technology. Yeah. So engine wise. Uh, between these these three bikes that you have rode for 300 cc scooter, most of them are talky, especially at the low to mid RPM. Uh -huh. uh, the power band I think is strong is about there. Mm -hmm. uh, but characteristic for Honda Forza, I like it because the engine is so smooth. Sometimes you don't feel it that you are straighting, and suddenly you realize you're already 100 kilometer. <laughs> on the highway. Okay. <laughs> you know, when you just enter the highway, you don't realize you just open. You don't feel like you are going fast because the engine is so smooth and uh -huh. quite quiet. Uh -huh. Suddenly, eh, I'm really 100 km. <laughs> so I don't know which, whether it's a good thing or it's a bad thing. Uh. Uh, yeah. I see, I see. Uh, and uh, for X Max, the engine definitely not as smooth as Forza. But it's not that it's rough by any means. Uh. It's just that Forza is smoother. Mm. And, uh, SYM, well, actually the SYM, the engine, especially the 300 one, is quite good. It's just that, like what I mentioned earlier, it's lacking technology. Yeah. To each rider on his own, because yeah. there are fans for the Forza, there are fans for the X-Max. Yeah, there's fans for the Gilera. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Hamas. Yeah. Gilera, it's, it's a good scooter. Yeah. My younger bro actually rode it before. Mm. ST200, mm. right? Uh, I was riding the VXR. VXR? Oh. <laughs> Still a good scooter. Quite yeah. satan, uh, that one. Uh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's very fun to ride, sir. Serious. Are you riding the two-stroke one? No. No, I was riding the four-stroke one. There is, right? A two-stroke. Yeah. The two-stroke one is more powerful, but more motorcycle. Uh. That one yeah is lah, motorcycle. Anyway, yeah. anyway, guys, how I wish we have a Gilera to review. Uh. Yes, Gilera yeah. friends, Gilera riders out there, please uh, approach us. Message him. We want to review. <laughs> Uh, the Gilera. So, Bizo, I know you have been using this for two months, uh, and I don't think there's any issues on the bike, lah. But from other riders or maybe the community, we are we have heard, does this bike have any issues? It's, whatsoever? it's actually a good question. Uh. because I was in the both group of X Max, SG, and Honda Forza Singapore. Uh -huh. Surprisingly, I see a lot of uh, people reporting some issues with the X Max. But in the Forza group, uh -huh. never. Interesting. Actually, Interesting. yeah. That's why I say it's a good question. I just realized that. Uh -huh. But maybe also because the X Max population is Big. higher. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's more X Max rider in the in the group itself. And I think this bike is brand new. Huh? So far, I think only last year it just came out. No, no. Actually, it came out 2018. Oh, 2018 oh, came out. Okay. Two years already, lah. Mm. Oh, 2018, which means. Yeah, it's no changes from 2018 to 2020. Mm. Yeah. I don't think they need to change anything. Any transponder issues? Like uh, XADV got transponder issues? No, so far. Wow. The transponder, I always keep it in my porch. I never take it out. Oh. Always in my porch. Mm. I got no problem every time I want to start the bike. Yeah. Yes. Even engine issues? Or I think wear and tear is standard. Lah. Wear and tear is standard. Lah. And no, no engine is issue so far. Or mechanical issue, so I never notice anything, which is which is good, lah. It's a Honda. <laughs> it's a Honda. The power of dreams, <laughs> And guys, surprisingly, uh. for me, the stock tire uh -huh. is decent. <laughs> Unlike the X Max Dunlop, it's quite decent. I don't have to change it, even in the wet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because normally, you know, when you buy a new bike, the stock tire usually cannot make it one. Mm. But surprisingly, this Pirelli is. Decent lah. No, Pirelli lah. Pirelli of course, definitely. <laughs> Considering that this is just a new bike, but you have yet to come to the maintenance, regular maintenance issue, right? So, but how would you plan 
your maintenance schedule for this bike. Uh. Okay, I follow the manual. Uh -huh. So far, I've already done the first servicing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at 800 km. It's not 1000. Okay. Once you ask for 800. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next one will be at 4000, which is. I haven't reached 4000 yet. Uh. Oh, so you just follow manual? Uh, I just follow manual. Uh. Uh, roughly, even if you don't follow manual, it will be about 3000. I mean, if you were to. Uh, 4,000 Then yeah. where you usually go to uh, to service your bike? Like, is it the Ape Ape shop? No, so far I only went for servicing once The first servicing uh -huh. I go back to agent I go back to agent la. Due to the warranty, they need to like register my bike you know, for the hmm. first time ah. But in future, I'm not sure yet la. I'm just curious, how to fight the warranty with agent? Why would you want to... I'm just curious, la, how? Why would you want to void? But I'm just curious, la, how to void? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> if you mess around with the engine la, If you modify ah. the engine then if anything happen to your engine, then problem. You, mm. They won't cover definitely. Yeah, I did yeah. ask them before I change the rear suspension. I did ask them if it will affect the warranty. They say no. I think in general, riders want to know lah how to break the what yeah. what would cause the to warranty to fight. Yeah lah, true. I mean, if riders out there, if you want to get a bike from direct from agent, especially if it's a, if it's a first hand, you definitely want to know what changes can you make without having the warranty being void. Mm. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's better to check with agent, uh, mm. especially if your bike still on already. It's not only applied to Honda. I mean, applied to any other brands also. Yeah, uh. This is something that people tend to overlook, especially ah. when they bought a new bike, right? Mm. They mm. modified. I mean, better check with the agent or the dealer. Uh, what you can, I cannot do, lah, because mm. people, some people, they like to modify things. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Just get ready, uh. oh. So how can you tell uh, between uh, agent bike and the uh, parallel import? Is there any difference, visible difference? Yeah, the, the most simple thing to know is the, there's a 300 logo on the parallel import version. Ah. Oh, uh, you mean here. Uh -huh. Forza 300 oh, okay, in numerics. Okay, okay. For agent Forza, yeah, we don't have the 300. Ah, so which means logo. you buy the parallel import version, you go back to agent, they can repair for you, but it's not under warranty. It's lah. not under warranty. Ah. Yeah. But I feel, I think the warranty should be covered under the dealer that you buy the parallel import Forza. Mm. Mm. But I don't know how long they give. For Bunsu, they give us two years warranty. So speaking of Bunsu, right? Higher purchase, this one. Or you pay full cash? No, I higher purchase here. Mm. Yeah. Even if I have the cash, I, do, I want full cash. <laughs> <laughs> Final question, Aviso. We know that. You rode many scooters before? Not many lah, four only. Four only lah. At least you got some experience with other models. Right? Yeah. And um, for the Honda Forza, right, it's class 2A. What kind of riders would you recommend the Honda Forza for? Uh, for riders who want a smooth ride, uh, re reliable. Mm -hmm. Actually, reliable, I cannot say it on my part also because I just rode it for two months. But so far, it's quite promising. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, never fail on me even once. I mean, starting in the morning, no issue. But it's a new bike anyway. Yeah lah. <laughs> so yeah, and it's but it's Honda. So the power uh, of I mean, dreams. Ah, uh, the power yes. of dreams. So, <laughs> and also, if you want to be different, uh huh. Can I say that? Can. <laughs> yeah. For now lah. For now. <laughs> if you want to be different. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, because yeah. I think in a few months or years, uh, mm. they'll be very common. Yeah, true. <laughs> now you see the X-Max is like almost everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like Fizo like said, uh, motor taxi. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an X-Max rider myself. Uh. But it's true uh, guys, it's a fact. Uh. Talking about this, right? You know, have you noticed or not? Yamaha is like almost everywhere. You know? Bersepa tau. Through the generation. First, we have the RZ. RZ is very popular. Bersepa. Uh, it's everywhere, scattered over. Then Yamaha RX is coming to the, you know, phasing out. Phasing out, right? You have the RX16. Uh. Yeah, almost everybody's like riding RX16. <laughs> What's sepa? It's scattered over everywhere. Now, then we have the NMAX, XMAX, yes. Aerox. Aerox. Aerox also. Uh, oh Aerox. It's like almost everywhere. They're everywhere, sir. Yamaha quite dominating. Eh? Oh, dominating. Currently. Yeah. yeah, I mean. And also with the street bike. XSR MP15. Ah, oh, uh, yes. R15. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's like they uh they have like a big market share, you know. It's like Yamaha, you see almost everywhere. But we can't deny that Yamaha do make nice bike. 
Yes, I agree. The, with the designs, all this. Yeah, only yeah. Honda recently started innovating. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, yeah, true. Quite recent. And and one one of the thing that about Yamaha, the R15, SXR155, WR155, MT15, the NMAX, they use the same engine. All the same engine. They yeah. use the same engine. So it's like. Okay, they capitalize on this uh, engine, so which means to be riders has more option. Mm. Ah. It's a good engine anyway. Ah. I think they have the VVA technology. Yeah. Varial yes. valve. Yes. The E, I don't know. The VA, I also don't know. VVA or VVT? <laughs> Varial variable, <laughs> variable <laughs> valve. The E is what? You Google it, okay? Yes, yes, something like that. Actuator. Ah. Ah. You might malu if you want to buy your reviewer, you might get lupa. <laughs> we are not pros. Uh, yes. We just doing this as a hobby. So yeah. yeah. But for me, I can wait for the Forza 750 to come out. Mm, it's coming. The, the pictures are uh, look really nice. It's like a uh, how to say a uh, X A D V some sort like that. So which <laughs> one will you go for? Oh man. <laughs> I believe it's the same engine as the X A D V, yeah, right? Yes. So, yeah. Same engine as the N C seven fifty or so. Yes, correct. Yeah. And then they also want to come out an X A D V two hundred. Oh. Uh, Using the Forza engine also. Ah. Yes. I'm not sure which one, but Honda really want to capitalize on the XADV and Forza branding. I think I might get the 300 uh, XADV. <laughs> Go for it, sir. <laughs> yeah. 300 is actually it's a good balance mm. between efficiency and power. Mm. Yeah, it's yes. quite a good balance. Just hope that it's available in Malaysia and Thailand so that <laughs> any issues, <laughs> yeah. you don't need to worry. True, true, true. I think for both Forza and X Max, Malaysia and Thailand, you're safe. Mm. Yeah, they got all the parts there for people who like to go touring. Mm. Yeah, any one of these wouldn't go wrong. Okay, so Fizo, thank you so much for coming out. No problem, bro. Don't mention. Forza 300. Only <laughs> 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 I want to say X-Nex no? <laughs> It's so confusing. Later Forza rider right angry no? <laughs> <laughs> Why you keep on saying X-Max? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I always wanted to review this bike for a very long time. Uh, one of my dream bikes lah. Uh, I don't know about you sir. So many dream bikes. <laughs> Which one? Dream. Dream. <laughs> well, Honda lah. It's I mean, power of dreams. Okay lah. I mean, would I get this bike? Definitely. You mean if, if within my capacity, I would definitely want to get one of these. Nice design. The design is nice. And very practical also. Yeah. That's and, a also, and also slightly different from the common <laughs> one that you see there. And it's not that I don't like the X-Men. It's just that too common. Too common lah. Bersepah. Everywhere lah. Yeah. <laughs> but there must be a good reason lah why you bersepah. Okay lah. So any riders want to review the bikes with us, you can touch with us on our social media pages. Any Forza riders who want to comment or have anything to share, just put them in the comment section below. Like and share this video with your riding khakis and don't forget to subscribe to us. And uh, that's it for the vlog and uh, we will see you next one. <laughs>